Happy Monday, guys. I am Eugene from Stuff You Tick, bringing you some updates. Microsoft has finally launched their new Xbox range, the Series X and the Series S. They went on sale this past Tuesday, so almost a week now that they've been on sale. If you managed to get one, well done for putting up with all the stock shortages and just going for it. My guess is that there is a massive demand for a $300 console. So also kudos to Microsoft for bringing out an affordable console that still has that next gen features to it. And speaking of features, the one downside of the Series S is that it comes with half of the storage space built into the system compared to the Series X. We have the Series X at one terabyte internal and the Series S at 512 gigabyte. And out of the one terabyte, you can only use 802 gigabytes. And on the Series S 512 gigabyte, you can only use 364 gigabyte for your games. Now it's debatable if 364 gigabyte of storage is actually enough for a console. But to be honest, you can install Warzone with it. So it's actually not that bad in my books. The nice thing is that Microsoft has made provision even for the Series X to expand this very easily. There is a few things to keep in mind. The Series X has better specs than the Series S, where the X is more for 4K gaming and the S is aimed for 1440p. So Microsoft claims that the games on the Series S will be an average of 30% smaller because they don't have to have all the visuals that the Series X has. Unfortunately, Microsoft has been quite clever about their storage expansion. You can't just go and plug in any storage, although can you? We'll get to that just now. But they have designed their own propriety slot to slot in the Microsoft official storage expansion from Seagate, currently only available in one terabyte drives. Another thing to keep in mind is that the new games are completely dependent and optimized to run on fast storage, which means if you are gonna be running the next gen console games, you have to install it on either your expansion storage, that is the official one from Microsoft via Seagate, or you have to install it on your internal storage. Now it is possible to add in an external SSD hard drive via USB to your Xbox Series S or X, but it's only for previous generation games that you own or bought, and it is not for these games that have been upscaled in visuals either. Which means, at least for now, the next-gen games will only run on the official storage from Microsoft. That, however, did not stop the tech community to try their own SSD drives. Again, only with previous generation games. But the results are quite interesting. We see in various benchmarks that the internal storage or the official storage from Microsoft with their claimed next gen speed over PCI Express 4 and all of their claims barely beating a USB SSD. Now this is very interesting and very disappointing because Microsoft has designed a propriety slot for the expandable storage of your Xbox that you can only buy in one terabyte expansions and at a fixed price of $220, which limits your options, only to realize that any USB SSD will give you pretty much the same performance. So if you are gonna be running previous gen games on your new Xbox, I recommend storing them on basically any USB storage that you have with you. I don't even think an SSD would be really necessary. It doesn't seem like the previous gen consoles can take advantage of high speed storage anyways. Something to note though is that you can still keep your new generation games on an external drive. You just have to transfer it to your fast storage before playing it. Storage expansion card seems to be more aimed at users that are going to be playing the latest games on their Xbox S and X rather than the previous generation games. 
As for the internal storage, it seems to be a normal Western Digital M.2 NVMe SSD. This is a straightforward standard, but by the time of this video, I could not find any information or anybody that has actually upgraded that internal storage with another brand or another make or another size at all. So if you found that, please let me know in the comments down below. And remember to like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you in the next video.